this is the moment that we're all going to look back and remember. And I'm just scared that we're moving on so quick and everything's going to like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we get to wake up every day and be best friends and make content and go to each other's houses and see each other and be there for each other. So it's like, we're all separating. It's, this is, I don't know. Kind you're of, well, you're well, tearing up a little bit, I would say. Yeah, I just don't want to. We can st we could still be best friends just with 4,000 miles between us. <laughs>
I don't know. I, I get that every single time we get in like an uncomfortable position or a tough spot or something you don't want to go through, it usually comes out to be like better than you expected. Uh, I, it's just to me, it's the friendship. Twenty eight years of my life, like I love what we have. Like this, like growing up, friendship was like a very hard thing to solidify. Like people that fuck with you for like forever and always. Yeah. So and I it's just I, like for example, Cave is my best friend. He's in Arizona. <laughs> We're we're far from each other, and we're still best friends. It's it's doable. I don't know. I just to I, me, I, I wrestle with this me. a lot, George. I, I honestly, it's like, oh, I have a really awesome setup here, surrounded by a lot of people that I love, and I'd like to continue this for the rest of my life. But is that realistic? No, no. It's no. Never, it's Even gonna end I, sometime. I'm noticing it with him, man. He the deeper and deeper he falls in love with that girlfriend. <laughs> it is. Dad's nothing. To, I, I see him less and less. For no, it everyone. does not. He's, he started he started disappearing from my life, bro. I got home last night from Puerto Rico. To an empty ass house. Fucking my. I said this. I said this. I'm lonelier here than I would be in Puerto Rico. How about I'll I'll move in here. My girlfriend could have the master at my house, right? Well, this guy's never here unless he wants the game. I don't even know if I'm keeping this house, dog. Dude, oh, can no, can I'm you, wrestling can you, with a lot right can now. You, oh, lot you guys, you're giving up. Look what we when we won. Slow down, for, slow down, sir. <laughs> look what we fucking won. Oh, is that you in that picture? <laughs> well, when I look back on it, it is. <laughs> Look like Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> you're throwing this all away. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Also, people are going to believe your bullshit, bro. Slow down. Last night was Valentine's Day. The entire oh, yeah. course, <laughs> I was with my girlfriend, the entire course of uh, my relationship, you've also been in one and were equally unreachable doing your own thing in your bedroom. And I was doing my own thing. And just for the past couple months, it also doesn't matter because to be quite honest with you, over the past... <clears throat> Let's be fully transparent here and talk about things that really haven't been talked about much off off camera. Um, for the past year, you've moved very much into a into a business uh, sense that is extremely Logan Paul focused, which would a, a, as it should be, rightfully so. But it, at times, it feels like there isn't much um, collaborative room for a Mike Malak in that effort, and that that's it, that's all by default, by design. Boxing, uh, the crypto, the Pokemon; those are not my passions. Those are your things, and I see you walk around the house from day to night with the earpods in, talking to people about those pursuits, and it's really hard for us I'm to an AirPod fucking guy. Guy, you know. yeah. That's how you know. Yeah, I'm, doing, I'm, tr I'm day trading. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 it makes sense. Um, and, and the Puerto Rico move for you two, I will say, it doesn't make any sense for you. I have two, like, it, motherfucker. You could swing I, it. Like, last year, you, if you would have asked me, I would have been like, yeah. But I, like, I can't now. Yeah, I just, I, I have to get out of LA. I, I've been feeling it. I, even before I went to Puerto Rico, was looking at a couple of houses in LA just to, just Spice to, it up. just to, yeah, ch yeah, to change it somehow. And I, I will admit this. When me and Bell were having like a heart to heart because everything was like kind of changing, I did say this. I go, I pray that Logan does go to Puerto Rico because I just feel like that's your next thing. It is, it is good for you. So if it's good for you, then it's good for me. Yeah. But fucking my cats are ruined by getting a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I feel like people are wondering why Puerto Rico, right? Yeah. Like how random. Yeah. Taxes. It's one. It's one vertical. Yeah. It's one. It's a big one. <laughs> it's ninety six percent of a big one, which ironically is the same amount of money you keep every year if you move to Puerto Rico. <laughs> it's it's yeah yeah yeah. There's he a did so he showed us in his PowerPoint mamacitas, but we couldn't fucking see her face. So like that was fucking terrifying. Um, yeah, I mean, it's getting crazy here in California. You know, you're paying taxes. Uh, <clears throat> Everybody for, is and, leaving, and for and for what? Because the potholes in the streets are not fixed. Homeless people. Yeah, homeless people everywhere. Um, a Darth of uh, employment. COVID not handled the right. Like, I don't know. It just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't love it. And so I, I kind of looked at uh, Texas a little bit, you know, like Rogan, Miami, right? Jake moved to Miami. I, I flew down there before Puerto Rico. Again, on a scout, checking it out. Yeah. You I, did like not, I did not like Miami. Texas felt as just as isolated as, as Puerto Rico. And same with Miami. They, Miami and Texas both have no state tax. I think it's 13.5%, which is not, it's not nicer than here in California, right? No, California's got the 13%. 13.5%. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Texas and Florida don't, don't have, have that. It. So yeah. make a million dollars, you save $135,000 if correct. you live in Texas or Florida. Correct. But um, Texas just felt like in, like literally in the middle of almost nowhere. And the, the, the heat I didn't love. And Miami. Yeah, we did, were there. We went down there together. I, I want to talk I went, about yeah, it. Yeah, I went on that part. Uh, <laughs> 
No, no COVID. They don't even acknowledge that it exists there. Yeah. I, you know, I was at a dinner and uh, took a walk upstairs uh, later on just for a couple of minutes to, to a lounge that exists there. And uh, wall to wall capacity packed and, and absolutely no mass people just partying it up. Like it was 1999 again. And uh, supposedly that had nothing on Tampa Bay. The Tampa Bay celebrations were even bigger. And so it was a, it was a wild, um, contrast once again uh from from what we see here in la and i think what's going on anywhere else but also you just you just didn't jive with it beyond no, the code beyond all. the covid concerns. i knew you wouldn't not at yeah, all. me and you are not partiers we don't like to like rage and shit i, I we, like, we go, like being out once in a while yeah you, like I, I mean i don't know i can't speak for you but when we did go out all the time it was very like it was like once in a blue moon we did it really nice made a great story and then came back but yeah. miami's like these motherfuckers are like it's all. It's I'd be just, coming home. They'd be getting ready to go out. Yeah, and I'm dinner, like, what the dinner fuck starts at like midnight, and the clubs are out. People are at the clubs till like eight. And I'm everybody sure. has just like a white nose. It's like powder on it. I don't know what's <laughs> going on. I'm 25. Like they don't even know how to do their makeup properly. I, I got no. I got no energy, energy anymore. I want to. I want to do a different shit. Um, the 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 best way I can describe is that I felt like the people in Miami. I I really felt to my core that their intentions didn't align with mine. Like you know, trying to get laid, trying to fucking drink, do drugs, party. Um, some of them trying to make money, but I'm, I'm out here on a, on a creative hustle, a grind. And uh, especially with boxing, Puerto Rico makes sense because you enter training camp for two to three months straight at a time where you can't do anything anyways. Yeah. I can't go out and enjoy that Miami yeah, nightlife. I, think, but I can't I, go out and enjoy the LA, LA nightlife. It, like, it, it makes sense. Z zoning in twice a year for four to six months, it's nice and it's nice to do it in Dorado, aka fucking heaven on earth. But I think I think that that's actually contrary to a creative <clears throat> grind or a creative mission. Because if it, if it was I'm, a I'm place, the yeah, no, 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 I'm no. no. What I'm saying, no. What I'm saying is this: if what if the mission you were on was to go somewhere that stimulated that creative gland, then I would be completely aligned with doing so with you because that's the grind I'm on. I'm writing books. I have a, a movie being made off the first book. I have a, a pro, all kinds of programs to make. I have a new a bunch of new creative businesses that are starting. You're going to Dorado to remove the distractions, to remove the creative strategy and simply uh -uh. punch. Uh -uh. But I mean, that's uh -uh. what you said. No, You're no, going to no, do no, no. training camp there. My best ideas come from when I'm alone and I've completely But what about the execution of such? My, you know what I'm that, saying? I mean, that's easy. The execution's easy. With the, the Rolodex that I've developed during the six years that I've been in LA, the execution is the easy part. Every time I internalize and every like... What, some of my best ideas happen when I'm just focused on my own. Like, I want to write scripts, dude. I can't yeah. do it here. I'm so distracted. I have two movies I want to write. I need to write. And I just haven't found the time or necessarily motivation to do it here. Like, in Puerto Rico, it's funny. You're motivated to to do more and, and make more money because of the implications that come with it. Um, do you feel like... <clears throat> I've, always, I've always been a bit hesitant... Uh, in life going after things that have uh, a primary goal of money. Yeah. And I'm yeah, not, I'm not, point. I'm it's not asking, point. I'm not, I'm asking a question. I guess I was leading into that. Like, does it, does it worry you at all that, you know, you're leaving everything, you're leaving good, very good friends. You're leaving a, a, great, a, a great show. <laughs> you're leaving, you know, all well, the, the show's not, the show's not ending. Uh, well, I want to make that. We'll talk, that really talk about that, but yes, just is. for the primary, <laughs> Just for the primary mission and goal of uh, putting more dollars in your pocket. Well, it's not the it's not the primary reason, and I liken it to working smarter, not harder. Honestly. What's the primary reason? If it's if not, say so, sorry, sorry, sorry. That is the primary reason. Oh, got it, but got it. but there's there's a there's a plethora of other Ancillary, ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that all contributed to it. But um, I, I wait. Yeah, I, yeah. You, I'm 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 working smarter, not harder. It's 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 always been what I've. Uh, it's always been something I'm, I'm good at. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and really, mm. be, I think leaning into boxing and that like pure locked in focus concentration lends itself really nicely to moving to somewhere like Dorado, uh, yeah, yeah. as well as all the other additional benefits that it has. I don't know, bro. When I was there, like, yeah, you it loved just it, felt dude. right. It yeah. just felt right. I loved it. Yeah, I mean, dude, trust me. I look I, when I go to places like that or to or to Cabo or something like that. If it, it always feels good, I just, I just worry you know for myself at least not for you about the long-term prospect of being there for that length of time and also i have a couple new projects that i haven't really talked to you about yet that are going to be leveraging the new wave of creators sure, we're going to be sure. moving people out to la and putting well, them also in a mind, house mind you, and, I don't, uh, you know 
I only have to be there six months out of the year. Yep, I'll, yep. I'll probably do more because I'm telling you, I, I really like it. But like, I'll still be here. I'll still be here in LA. And um, the only the only sticking point that I had uh, was this this so, show. Yeah, yeah. She spent sixty thousand dollars to build a brand new set, and, Seven, I, and, I, and 70, I'm throwing 70, up the deuces. Seventy thousand. Seventy k. Yeah. And so we have to figure out a way to keep this going because obviously Impulse is uh, very, very near and dear to our hearts. It's my baby. My my last name's even in the title, even. So like so, so. when I was <laughs> when I was weighing the pros and cons yeah. bullshit with you, uh, and there was uh, like I said a fuckload of pros and very little cons. The, one of the cons was this, and Bell was like, "Yo, you could just like he was talking about, you could put a camera and then like a wood thing, Remotely. and then if you're staying here, we could still sit in our same seats." And it would honestly look the we same. We talked about It'd be that. a holographic uh, projection. You'd be like Michael Jackson or Tupac. That's right. We said, mm -hmm. wow, I wonder if that's possible. <laughs> we actually talked. <laughs> I, I wonder if that's fucking possible. <laughs> to just to be a hologram. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> we actually talked about that, though. We talked about the idea of me potentially staying here at the house and holding it down as like a Greg Paul ranch hand. <laughs> but for but Would for, you move in with Amara? But for the oh. house. I, I don't know what I, I don't know what I would do yet. It's it, here's the thing. For me specifically because of the position I've been in for the past two years. I think my life hits the most contrast, even though he's moving out of LA. I, I, this, this me not going to Puerto Rico to me and to other people who I've talked to about this already equals my stepping out of the shadow of being Logan's right hand man, which has been incredible for me. It has been, it is, it has been an incredible ride for me, but there's a lot of people who are, who are, um, trying to coax me in the direction of, yo, start building your own platform. Start making sure that you're out of that spotlight. You have the talent, you have the platform, you have all the things that are necessary to fucking do so. Now go fucking do it. And so it's like, there's just a lot of things that need to be considered. A lot of things that need to be considered. I was in Miami. Yeah, you hated it. Yeah, so we went out to that club. It was funny, you saw, you saw Single Logan again. I did. I, re I realized. It was scary. Why? No, it was good. It was good. <laughs> you're, you, you're actually so like... Uh, you're single, but you're like so elevated out of that scene that like it, you you almost were like standoffish to the advances of of good looking women. A you know what bit. I'm saying? You were just like, yo, could you back the no, fuck No, cause off? I didn't know I didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I what do I do with my hands? Like I pan I panicked, honestly. Cause <laughs> yo, cause that but now I'm single Step again, one, right? Don't touch them. No, I swear. <laughs> so, getting numbers yeah. is a skill, right? It takes strategy. There's like there's a thing there. You have to uh complete a task and that is to get the number to continue communication with said human being and i forgot literally i forgot i i, I was like oh yeah like if i want to keep th like this going i need to get a number so i had to uh you know dig in my brain it's been over a year about like how to do this um and i realized something about myself <clears throat> so i've been in la too long right post malone said it best <laughs> how i see the same bitches everywhere i go yeah i have a hodar hodar i have a a really good one. Yep. And uh, I was talking to this one girl at the club for like an extended period of time. We know we were vibing. It was all good. But something, I don't know, something wasn't 100% kosher. And I couldn't put my finger on it because she's a beautiful girl, like nice, smart, educated. We were really getting along. And uh, we went back to a, a house party afterwards and like fully, fully could have put the pedal to the metal and been like, yo, this is the one. Like we're going we're gonna to go for it. But I, I don't know, my gut, my instinct wasn't allowing me to do so. And, uh, we had a conversation in, in, uh, during our time together about her not, you know, succumbing to the easy, like show your tits and ass online, yeah. uh, to make money. She said she doesn't do only fans. Cause you know, she doesn't, she doesn't need to do that to make what she says. She's a fashion designer, really just like a, an outstanding young woman. So I thought, Oh no, bro. The next day, Jake and his boys looked this girl up. OnlyFans account. Sucking dick. Honor OnlyFans? Come on her chest, really? face, all, all the above. I'm sure it was the right girl. Under an alias. Oh, Under so it wasn't. Alias. Oh, so it wasn't her. Under an yeah. alias. No, it was her. No, but it wasn't. It was someone. It was a, di a different name. <laughs> it's the I'm, same I'm girl. Be, no, I know. It's but the same how, girl. How, how, how did you not see this coming? Literally. I, yeah. 
Nice. I don't know. I don't nice. know. I don't know. It's I was in like Miami. When a guy what? talks about money, he doesn't have money. You get what I'm saying? Like when people say shit, it's like they're reflecting what they are I, doing. I believe in I don't people. I fucking stock <laughs> for money. There's no fucking. Oh, not now. <laughs> not now. Wait, hey, but uh, wait. Kidding. <laughs> wait, but also you're so you're in Miami on this weekend trip. The hodar goes off. You find a girl who just it doesn't loves- go off. It doesn't go off. No, no, a little bit because uh, I didn't. I didn't. You, I didn't take. I didn't do the do the the, the dirty. Well, yeah. So I thought you do the dirty. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what the, the fuck's no, that? My, my, my ability days to are over. My ho days are over. No more. No, no more hoes. <laughs> got no wife a one night stand. No mo hoes. That's what. I, that's what I was getting at. Sorry, before I was interrupted. I said all I was saying was this. If your Hodar went off and you found out that she was a, a, a cum guzzling uh, OnlyFans girl, wouldn't that be like a green light? Like ah, go, ah, but yeah. he asked that same question before I was able to. And you no said mohos. Why? Too much energy just to get laid. Not anymore. No, that's the I'm definition of a hose. No energy. Yeah. What if I told? Uh, there's, there's, uh, this what kind of hose you messing with, bro? Ain't taking my my precious seed. You're turning into Andre, bro. I know. My, you really? My head's it's actually. Up with it's at, you're gonna because here's watch the thing, this, man. Watch. Are you coming inside of yourself? That's all cum. That's disgusting. That's gross. You're gross. I've never heard that. that I don't have energy for hoes. I don't. I have. No, I have. For sure. They get in the what? way of a lot of things. But also at the same time, like, I also know that there's a fucking dramatic risk not getting that nut off, dude. Like, I honestly, bro, you give me a week without a nut off. I'm, yo, I will stab my Violet. sister, yeah. bro. Violet. And I love my sister, yeah, but if she dirty. got too close, she's Abby. getting a fucking blade, bro. Love Abby. Like, yo, you can't be doing that to yourself unless no. you're, of course, a vegan or a, or a Scientologist. <laughs> or a Christian waiting for marriage. George, shut up, you fucking I'm sinner. So sorry. You're a, I say, a I massive I knew, sinner. I knew, I knew that was going to come with repercussions. <laughs> fucking sinner. Fuck me. I'm There's sorry. Only There's only no one holes. person that's a, a Christian waiting for marriage, and she's sitting right fucking there. Dude. Yeah, Danny, she got a boyfriend. D, 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 D. Actually, wait, wait, no D. No D, no D, no D, no D, no D, no D. She got a brand new boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's funny because she's been acting brand new. That's business. Shut up, guys. I didn't They've been holding their hands. I'm sorry, D. These guys are delinquents. Is that Christian? Is that legal Christianity? Is it legal Christianity? <laughs> I don't know if it's legal Christianity. Can you hold, touch hands? Can we hold touch hands? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mike, you're the reason why Logan's leaving, and you, my friend, are talking about all these hoes in Puerto Rico, but you don't even know how to like talk to them. I'm the worst. The other night, I'm begging Mike. Where the, where, the, where the party's at, Mike? Mike, what's, what's happening? happening? Dude, Mike Send me where the party's the at. Se seriously, he used to be the guy, right? He's like, yeah, I heard about this one up the street. Like, he came through this night, even though he's wiped up. He's like, yo, Good there's one up Mike. the street. There's you know, another down the street. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and I wanted to go out so bad. And then when he actually told me where they were and it came down to it, cap. <laughs> I go, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm too probably tired to go out. I don't want, I don't got the energy. That's why I'm living in the middle of heaven with my brother focusing that on that part. That sorry, with who? With, with Jake. Jake. Oh, I love that. I hope, like I, I love that you guys are together. I think it, I think I could provi provide him with some good guidance I as agree. an older brother. I, th I think he's been lacking solid uh, leaders. Like yeah, mentor, well, mentorship yeah. a little bit. And I've had the pleasure of having you as a, as my mentor. And I think me living with Jake in Puerto Rico because yeah, we're going half seas on a house together. We'll be half seas on a housey. So you're just gonna take all that all that gleaning advice from me and then just apply it to Jake? Yeah, and, it's like and generational and fucking <laughs> mentorship right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm glad you guys are because you guys came to LA together and now you guys are going there together. That's good. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll be a fresh start. Nobody uh, runs into any problems. There's <laughs> nothing more exciting than a little uncertainty, bro. Like, oh, no, that's true. If a girl's fun. like, oh, I might be pregnant, that I don't want to. No, not her. that. I don't, that uncertainty. But I just mean you go like, to hell. But I just I mean it's that. like it's like if I think of. Uh, <laughs> Like, I want to be certain about that shit. <laughs> if I think of, like, the idea of just, of, like, being at this desk and, and in a year, you know, doing this, it feels good. It, it it sounds nice. But, like, who knows what a year from now looks like if we just fucking smash this whole thing to, to smithereens with a sledgehammer, light the pieces on fire. You can't, Mike. We can't. No, you not can't the actual stop. set. No, the podcast. We can't stop. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. Mike, we got competition on the horizon. You know, I'll be you know, honest. You, you know probably, I'll probably be honest. You go to Puerto Rico. You're gonna have competition with me also because oh. I'll definitely have my own podcast. Oh, no. well. I should have started it fucking a year ago. Oh, no. I'll still be doing ours for sure. But Are I you mean, cheating on me with myself. Nice. I'll be jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> Support for Impulsive is brought to you by Manscaped. 
who's the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. They obsess over their technology developments to provide you the best tools for your grooming experience. Manscaped is trusted by over 2 million men worldwide. Join the movement for all of your below the waist grooming needs. Do not read. Host to talk about a time when he's hurt his balls while... Tr- it is the worst. It is the worst. Wait, I, when you chop your balls off with the razor? No, well, not that no, far. No, no, but no, no, no. When you dig in, yeah. it happens to me with my current <laughs> razor set up all the time. Yeah. I get these three little divots oh. in them and it starts to bleed a little bit it burns. and burns. It burns after. I'm going to try this one tonight. Or actually- is that, that, is that the third generation trimmer that features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to advanced skin safe technology pioneered by Manscaped? That's it. This but, is the one you use, right? Yeah. When I tell you it's premium, it's premium. The battery lasts up to 90 minutes, so you can shave your balls for 90 minutes if it's an El Yunque rainforest down there. The waterproof technology All the allows you to groom. Are like, <laughs> All right, Manscaped. I like it. They've also upgraded to a 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology and not forgetting about the charging stand. Show your mower off loud and proud because this intelligently designed stand is a convenient charging dock powered by USB. If you're listening to me speak right now, I want you to experience it firsthand for yourself and let me know how the ball trimming goes. Get 20% off your, your order plus free shipping with the code Logan at manscaped.com. Your balls are going to thank you. Back to the program. No, dude, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. Look who just showed up. I know. Look I know about it. I watched, his, I watched his four and a half second podcast. It was short. Double D. I know. I know all about He's it. He's here bro. to play. 18 million views. Four, four million views. Davey Dobrik. Davey D. Was Brand that a new. full vlog? The seven minutes? <laughs> That's just a rant one of you boys do for like seven minutes. He's calling it a podcast. So wait, just so I'm clear, is that how long all of the can't be? No, that no. can't be possible. It's right? not a podcast. His That's set, it. his set looks uh, looks beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, he killed it. That kid, he he doesn't really make any missteps. He's not a big misser. Yeah, he's uh, he's killing it. So yeah, his podcast views. In his brand new, what is it, like nine nine million, nine point eight million dollar house, he put a, a podcast studio in there, and it's interesting because he was audio only, and now it looks like he's going to be visual as well as audio, which is exactly what we are. And we've heard that since we aren't audio only, kind of fucks us a little bit sometimes. It does. We almost shot ourselves in the foot because we say we're the number one podcast in the r- world, right? And like, if you were to add up the views and the listeners, probably- We'd be close. We'd be close. We'd, be, we'd, we'd, we'd probably, probably be po- po- top 10. But, yeah. but top, we, top can't, five, we top cannibalize five. ourselves because all our shit is on YouTube. We're visual, right? We, we, we're expressive. We got Caleb over there like with the uh, camera, which is also- Was acts that a clock, like clock 9,000? Oh, 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 <laughs> also acts as a, a, a character in a way and contributes to the comedy. We got CJ on the cuts. But it, CJ, yo, no one cuts like CJ. Nah, nah. This dude's comedy cut. I, I've never seen anything like it. It's great. But it's more than just the, the video views on YouTube itself uh, cannibalizing the audio views. It's the lack of new awareness as a result of us not being in the top five. Like uh, when yeah. you scroll that yeah. top 10 podcast in the world list or when you scroll, because because if we had done the Mike Tyson episode audio only, we would have had the number one podcast that week on all of audio. Mm. Now that the idea of that on Spotify or on Apple and those and all of the awareness that comes along being at the top of the chart there just drives more listenership. Can I ask our audience a question? Really Well, he's well, always he been started video. With video. Yeah. But regardless, I, I, you- I want to ask a question to the audience because yeah. this is one of the solutions I had for the Puerto Rico uh, ex California impulsive crossover to make it continue. If we did go audio only, like I'm sitting at my house in PR and y'all are here, it's one way to continue it. But yeah. I, I understand it's not ideal. Right. Like we want to keep the show going, but please comment below what your honest thoughts are about that. But yeah, Dobrik's going to be interesting to see what happens because he has such a a cultural pull that he can get some awesome, awesome A-list guests on there uh, pretty much probably every week and and start slashing his way up up the rankings. He's already really high. But uh, yeah, you know, obviously top tier celebrities love him. If he can nail that podcast... uh, It'll be interesting to see what happens with it. It's know? just, it's just, and, and by the way, best of luck to him. I hope he, he crushes it, but it's not always that, as you know, the podcast game is simply just not about who you can get on the show. That definitely helps drive new viewers. It definitely helps, you know, get people onto the platform, but the podcast game is about long form storytelling, about camaraderie between co-hosts is about, is about the pulling the right topics together, talking about the right things. And so I think, it, I think, 
from an awareness generation standpoint, having those kind of guests on, but you know, we're, we're where we are because we've had 260 consecutive episodes of, of building this thing, you know, mm. and, and talking about the right things and stuff. So I'll also be interested to see how long the episodes are. I mean, se- seven minutes is not really a podcast. No, no, no. It's a, vlog, it was, it was a, a vlog. preview. It was a preview oh, got with, it, with got Halsey. It, got his, it. his dream is to be like a late night talk show. And the way yes, he set yes, it up is yes. like that. And it's good. And it it's will perfect. be perfect. It's yeah. perfect. I, I've said it on this show before. I think he's this generation's like uh, Jimmy, 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 Fallon, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, right? Yeah, and so, absolutely. hundred percent. I, I read a quote in an article of his. It's like, why, why would he not? just do that himself yep. at his house 100%. in his own studio. Like, why does he need to go on a late night show and, you know, get paid a salary he, in, instead he, of owning credit, his, probably his credit entire IP? I guess, right? Credit. Or not, yeah, I but I mean, d- digital is the, the new age, man. Digital is the new age. Even like, I, I, everything is going digital. And I feel so strongly about that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to lean even more so very heavily into, into digital. It's part of the reason this uh, NFT boom is happening. Oh my god! Are y'all dude. are y'all paying any I'm, attention I'm, to NFT non fungible tokens? I have yet to like officially explain what what my plan is with the NFTs and what our release looks like. I guess I'll just I'll just do it now. But NFTs, you know about these, Georgie? No. Non fungible tokens. In short, they're digital collectibles, right? Okay. I have a Pokemon card in real life. It's awesome. But what if I had a Pokemon card or a, a, a Poke Pets, for example, or a highlight of an NBA uh, slam dunk in, in, a, in a big game on my phone and I have the collectible and it's one of 10 in the world, right? For us, it maybe doesn't make as much sense to go, look at this collectible. I have it here. It, it's, it's tangible. It's right here in front of you. It's a physical, it's an asset. Yeah. But Gen Z, even the generation out of them, Gen X, um, I think catalyzed by our generation is going to go look at what I have on my phone. I own this clip. It's called NBA Top Shots is one of them. I own this clip of LeBron James uh, scoring a buzzer beater um, to beat Miami Heat. I own this clip and there's only 10 other people who have it. It's a digital collectible. Also, but like respectfully. Sure. Who gives a fuck? Okay. 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 (laughs) My knee jerk reaction as well. Yeah. A lot of people. It is they the- They give a fuck about like a view and then the fact that you created mm-hmm. it. Why, to, who, why do you give a fuck? Why, who gives a fuck that I own a, a PSA 10 first edition Charizard? I think it's because it's art and you could hold it and have it in your house. And I feel like the value of somebody having to like go see it in person has a lot more value. Sure. But why would that not also be oh, the also, same you, mindset for digital? Because like, how do you know? Is it Does it hold its mm-hmm. same value? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And when it's minted, there's like a, there's a, a code. All it is is code, right? There's a code that is uh, non-fungible, fung- means unable to be duplicated. I know, but they say that, bro. Or do, do, yeah, no. What, if, no, 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 no. Like, what if you screenshot it? Can I get, can I get, <laughs> no, like, I'll no, screen rec- no. record the bronze. Sh- by shit, the way, bro, yo, like, hold on hackers, really quick. Uh, yeah, go for anything. You're what if, cr- what if, uh, currency as well. what if, so like that, uh, oh my God, oh my God. Why did you do that? Because he wasn't done talking. Okay, no. and I will Spider Man you. Oh my God, George, this is disgusting. It, hey, stop that it. was awesome. It was hey, kind of awesome. That was so cool. Cool. It, was, it was so accurate. Right? What the fuck just happened? No fucking way. No, you got it on the camera, stop, you idiot. Stop, George, you got to clean stop all this it. Stuff. This is my OnlyFans. Oh, 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 I saw it. Like and subscribe to this. Hey. Hey, that was great. That Put it in the highlight reel. <laughs> Please. <laughs> What is that? Well, I, if I was Spider Man and I was a guest and he cut you off, I just fucking zip it, buddy. And then just get him right in the mouth. What? That was great. <laughs> what a mess. Non fungible tokens, digital collectibles. Yo, so- NBA Top Shots uh, <laughs> is grossing millions of dollars on their drops. Uh, Crypto Kitties. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Is, uh, is, this is so wet and sticky. Crypto Kitties. They're, they're little kitties you can buy for, uh, I think, certain amounts of Ethereum. They may, they're, 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 they've grossed over $25 million just selling these digital collectibles that can breed with each other. And so as a uh, product of the digital age, I, I'm definitely going to lean into this space um, with my own NFTs. It was part of the reason that my Pokemon box break did so well. Can I get a, can I get a round of applause? We got the first ever million dollar Pokemon box. I, I had no idea that it was going to be this big. I thought I thought the packs would maybe sell for around $15,000 each. They sold for an average of $38,250 on golden auctions. We sold 33 of them, which puts it at about $1.3 million. The $350,000 box that I bought 
grossed $1.3 million, and we still have three packs left um, that we're going to do another NFT pairing with uh, via Bondly. That's going to be awesome, so stay tuned on there. Um, the, per the people who win those last three packs are also going to fly them out to L.A. to watch a box break live, so it's going to be exciting. But, yeah, part of the reason I think it did so well was because we paired the packs with an NFT, and that NFT has value because there's only a limited number. There's 44, and it's part of this uh, this market hype phenomenon of me x pokemon x this new industry that is digital collectibles and we're going to be selling more after the uh the box break we're going to be selling the highlights of some of the pools bro imagine if you own me pulling the charizard a little 10 second clip on your phone and i know I, trust me i get it it's a hard concept to to make sense of but it is real it is happening and a lot of <laughs> <laughs> People Yo, are sinking a lot of that. <laughs> that clip of Logan's mic falling over, I'm currently selling the NFT for. Okay. It's, honestly, spons it's honestly. sponsored by Ethereum. <laughs> you could buy it over on my website, buyuselessshit.com. It is completely no. fully functioning. Uh, and no one else can have it except for you, unless, of course, you screen record this YouTube clip, <laughs> in which case anyone can have it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, DJ. That was, that was really funny. Uh, uh, yeah, no, Dude, hey, guys. That was perfected. Guys, I don't, that's never happened. <laughs> this whole mic. I don't know why. This whole mic fell apart. It was like a, like a sign that we're just falling apart. Everything's coming. Yeah, it's end. over. No, 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 no. No, it's actually just starting. Dude. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I like that attitude. You know, cryptocurrencies on the rise. The centralization of, uh, of <laughs> currency is, is continuing Speaking to be which, more and more prominent in today's society. I think, it, I think we're just getting started with the NFTs. A lot of big business there. One of the one of the utmost uh, experts on this uh, making believe data can somehow be used to pay for things. Boom, Chantel Jeffries is coming on the show this week to talk about her early entry on Dogecoin uh, and other every great every one of them cryptocurrency. I love her. her yeah, she's, she's incredible. Incredible. She's incredible. She's amazing. Great human being. Her opening text to me uh, when we re reignited this conversation to get her on impulse was this. Do you remember when I convinced you to buy half a million dollars in Bitcoin in 2017? I said, I do. You want to know what's worse? You sold it. Never did it. Never ended up actually buying the Bitcoin, which <laughs> I, I would have had $2.5 million if I just listened to Chantel Jeffries. I, I, <laughs> it, I don't think I've ever heard that said before. <laughs> if, I just li if I just listened to Chantel Jeffries. Two and a half million dollars. Connor Blakely was right. She is, oh, she, she is the female, the female Kygo. Kygo. CJ the she's DJ. She's cool, bro. Oh, my God. Smart, too. I, I not only I fuck with her because she's smart, she's beautiful, but she's very kind. And I, and I always fucked with that. I remember the first day you introduced me to her. I was like, oh, she's she doesn't have to do that whole, like, fuck off attitude because she's confident who she is. And uh, she could have made you a lot of money if you listened to her. You fucked up. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Connor Blakely, another... Uh, name that's blowing up in the current Hollywood and media scene. Michael Gruen. Michael fucking Our Gruen. Our friend Michael Gruen is yes. blowing up. Everybody's talking about yeah. the man that is the clubhouse legend, the connector of TikTok stars himself, Michael Gruen. He's brought a ton of people onto our show. <laughs> now he's been he's being mentioned by Hollywood A-listers such as Tim Dillon uh, <laughs> and other large movie stars. Not large like that, but just like large, like big up and coming people. You didn't people. need to fix it. We when, knew what you were talking about. Shut the fuck up, right? <laughs> Let me grab my Spider-Man thing again. <laughs> Michael Gruen. Yeah. Yeah. What? Amazing. I remember the first time he came over here, you know, two years ago and y'all almost fought at 2 a.m. He was talking about Republicans. Oh, he was what telling was he us about? that he was telling us that uh, that Trump was going to save the world. He was the second. It was the second coming of Jesus Christ. I think it was like something along the lines of that, which a lot of people have bought into. And I believe <laughs> there's uh, Trump dressed up as Jesus Christ NFTs over on my website right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but everybody's talking about he's he's big on Clubhouse. And as we watch Clubhouse continue to grow and snowball yeah. and, and pull more more and more of these kind of people in, are you are you uh digesting, taking in a lot of Clubhouse chats right None. now? Not not one. Yeah, I mean, I'll get on there to talk about my NFT sale because I think there's a lot of uh value in people who care. Yeah. Unlike you. No, I do. I do. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. On, uh, on Clubhouse. Know. But <laughs> it's uh yeah, it's a it's a good place to to network and I think potentially get your ideas amplified. But I, I don't know, bro. It's it's a it's a it's lot. such a weird it's a, place. There's a lot of noise there. It, that's the issue. It's uh, I'll I'll I don't, I don't know if I said this yet, but it's I'll I'll start at the top of the different chat rooms. 
And the first one with the most members in it will be like how to grow your business through influencer and e-commerce, right? And there'll be like 1.4 thousand people in the <laughs> chat. And I'll scroll down to the next one. And it'll be like how to get that pussy wet with like a <laughs> bunch of like bursting water emojis. Tim Dillon did a, a, a room. Bro, it, I would go to that room. What was it called again? What was it called? Should I can't. Girls own oh, should should, should should girls be allowed to own Bitcoin? Bitcoin. <laughs> I, 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 you sent me it, so funny. right? And he I was like, there's so no funny, fucking way. And then I found out it was Tim Dillon's room. Should women be allowed to own Bitcoin? That was what his room was called. And it was Tim Dillon and a bunch of women. <laughs> <laughs> is, but, he, is he like clickbaiting? Yeah, he's a troll. Yeah, totally he's does. fucking he's with everyone. Troll, but a master and the, be <laughs> the best at it right now, dude. But it's just funny, like looking at this contrast of like- Tag me as George W. Bush, Bush. <laughs> in the picture. Yeah. I go, fuck you, man. Like we were like right next to yeah. each other. You were close. So close. He did not care. Speaking of- uh, uh, <laughs> I like your transitions. They're all the same. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of uh, digital pursuits. Sure. Continue to use the Twitch platform to have a little bit of fun. And uh, there's different waves of games that get popular over there on Twitch. And right now it's Grand Theft Auto role playing. Everybody's back in the GTA realm. I walked into Evan's room. Yeah. And he's dressed as a police oh, officer. Yeah. Yep. I said, what the fuck are you doing? He said, I'm role playing. I said, what? And in his little world, he was a cop. Yep. He had codes written down in front of him that he would say to his friends who understand understood the code, right? 10-4, robbery on the loose. Yep. Right? And, and, and they would all then act and do these certain things. Brother. Have you been fucking? It is. Okay, so I'm going to get to that. <laughs> It is very what real. What the fuck everything, are you guys talking everything, about? Everything, Grand Theft Auto, the game. Yeah, I know. Okay. I get the on, role on Twitch, it's been modded out for role playing, and so there's like Phase Clan houses. There's the Maverick house, maybe. Then you could live in them, and you, mm. and then people start turf wars and try to steal your house. <laughs> and there's supermarkets, and there's different warring factions, and some people play as cops. And when they play as cops, they actually will come and arrest you for running a red light. Mm -hmm. Like it exists, like a real <laughs> world. So the other day I was in the game and I was I was playing as a more just like normal character, speaking as myself. And uh, I saw uh, these girls uh, twerking <laughs> in the parking lot outside the strip club. Yeah, of course. And so I went up to her and I said, yo, it was good. Shorty was popping. Like, you go, you know, I'll be a Do little- Do they hear you? Oh yeah, they proximity chat. So when you get Whoa. close to people, you, like in real life, you could talk to them. Were they so actually the girls? Were oh, they yeah. Actually, oh, they were yeah. women. They were actual girls. I saw ladies. Across the men so, I'll get women. to that also, because there's a couple cross-dressers and yeah, different, sure. one sure. by the name of Furbella, shout out Furbella. Yeah. If you're watching this, who always comes after me, hey Mike, like that, it's, <laughs> it's the wild place. But so you, get, so you get into this proximity chat, right? And I went up to this girl and I said, um, Yo, it was good. Cause I, cause in GTA, like I try, I get a little bit more like. Are you gangsta. single in there? I'm gonna fucking get to that. I'm sorry. So I go up to this girl and I'm like, yo, what's what, what's good, Shorty? How you doing tonight? She's like, oh, I'm chilling. What's good? I'm like, you going into the to the club and shit? She's like, yeah. I'm like, you got a man? Um, and she's like, nah. I'm just. I'm like, you ain't like fucking rice gum or so. Cause all the girls like to fuck rice gum. He's like the master pimp in the game, okay. right? <laughs> and so she's like, nah, I'm single and shit. And I was like, oh, I was, I was like, that's dope. That's dope. Oh, so you're chirping in the game. All of a sudden, my chat starts to fill up. Oh, no. Yo, Poopy Puff is incoming. Poopy Puff is my is my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Lana Rhodes. These motherfuckers from my chat went and tweeted at <laughs> Lana. Yo, your man is hollering at chicks in GTA World. <laughs> and so she showed up in, in, in the chat and, and didn't say anything. So I didn't know. But she was watching everything I was doing. <gasps> And I even broke the fourth wall and I said, yo, because I, I would say this if I was single. I didn't fucking mean it. I was like, yo, girl, what's your IG? My chat's asking. And you know, I broke the fourth wall, which you're not supposed to do in RP anyways. Oh, no. And everybody in the chat was like, yo, what's your Instagram? We want to look her up and see what you really look. Dog. <laughs> Dog. I was in trouble. <laughs> Big trouble, bro. With your girl or the yeah, situation of what that person looked no, like? No, <laughs> with, with my chick, bro. With my chick. So she, so she hits me up. On the text, like, yo, I seen you fucking asking for this chick's IG. Oh. What, what the fuck are you doing? This is cheating. This is cheating. Flipping out. Is it? Text me. And sa I said, listen, I didn't think about that. Now that the shoe's on the other foot, I think about the idea of you twerking on Rice Gum's dick in this video game and hearing your voice like, yeah, Rice, you like that fat ass on your car? <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't like that so much. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. How can I make this right? Shoot her in the fucking face. What? This didn't happen. She Shoot her in the face. That's what she said. Now, in this world, you don't just do that shit. You don't just run up on people and bang them out. 
because it's like a real world environment. And it's what like, happens if you can you you can, but you can get arrested. People are like, yo, why are you griefing people? But what like, happens if you're arrested? It's none of it's real. You go to jail for in how the long? game for like 20 minutes and you gotta sit there by yourself in a <laughs> cell. It's annoying, bro, right? This is fucking weird. Crazy. Man. This is why crazy. Whoa. So, so now, shout out to the homie Aiden Ross, who runs the server I'm in. He runs a server called SSB World. It's like 150. It's mostly all like influencers, mm -hmm. and like influential mm -hmm. people. You can't just really join it, right? So I, I hit up Aiden. Um, yo, I need you to get that chick that I was spitting at um, at, at the strip club and then also at Rice Gum's wedding because I went to the wedding with her as well. <laughs> uh, I need you to call her down to the beach so I can just have a few words with her real quick. <laughs> and so, so he hits the chick up. This can't be fucking bro, this, up. Is, this is crazy. So he hits her up and he's like, yo, uh, uh, um, what was her? Oh, her name was T. He's like, yo, T, what's good? Um, me, me and Rice uh, and Mike are all down at the beach. If you want to come through, we're just at the pier just hanging out because there's a pier like Santa Monica, exact replica of it. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like on the roller coasters and shit. So she rolls up and I'm like, yo, um, T, can I like holler at you for a second? And she's like, yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. And we like walk around the corner. I'm like, yo, um, things are like moving really fast. And like, <laughs> you know, I know like you've been feeling me and like, I've been feeling you and shit and it's all cool and shit. Um, and I, I was thinking maybe we could take this thing to the next level. And she was like, oh yeah, really? And I was like, <clears throat> yeah, but my girl doesn't like that much. Boom, shut bro. The shot up. her right in the fucking <laughs> face, bro. Right in the face. And everybody around me is, why did you do that? Scream. I took off, ran, <laughs> jumped off the pier into the Pacific Ocean. Didn't know how to swim because it was only my second time. So I drowned. <laughs> So it was a murder suicide. So I couldn't even get, I couldn't even get arrested because I was dead and I just respawned somewhere else in the city. And she and she tweeted at me. She tweeted at me because she's like a chick that has like like whatever. Because she's like, yo, you the fucking ops, man. Oh no! What's her Instagram? Nah, have hell no! <laughs> hell no! And wow. so and so wow. to make matters worse, guess who that homicide wasn't enough to appease for the hollering. Is this why it she, did? Yeah. Wifey. Is this yeah. why she posted Valentine's without you? In That's it? not why, but that was fucked up. <laughs> I, but yeah, she yeah. was, but she was mad, bro. And I said, I, so it brought up this this conversation that I'm having with you guys today, and I want to talk about it a little bit. But like, where's the line drawn? Yeah. It brought me right back to a less gay version of striking vipers. Yeah. Do you remember those two the Black Mirror episodes? Black the guys in the Black Mirror just fucking each other every night in the game, in, in, the, in the, game, the video game, in the video. But game. they weren't gay in real life, exactly. Wow. So like, where is the line drawn? Like I, she said where I crossed the line, and I'm sure the audience will agree with this or maybe, maybe not was when I asked for real life information mm. in the fucking game, bro. This is tricky. Tricky. This is new. Yeah. Uncharted territory. Uncharted. Cause Rice is actually fucking in the game. I mean, he's putting in work. What does the fucking look like in the game? You, you, do you go okay, somewhere or can you do it in the street? You could do it in the street, but it's really just like you, like Rice will lay down and like some girl will just grind on his. On oh, his so head. you don't actually? Nah, nah. I don't think there's like a way to actually do. Is it. he now? Is he like masturbating in real life as it's happening? Maybe I don't think Rice is, but like Rice has like three wives in the game. Like he's got he's married to three girls, and there's all kinds of like sub huh. plot lines. Like some chick that Rice was hooking up with is pissed off that he married two other girls. So she runs up at the wedding, starts shit at the altar. Like it's. This is how my stepbrother met his current wife. At playing GTA? Uh, World of Warcraft. This, they dated in the game in, the, in WoW. And, and they met in real life. I can't talk about it. Fuck, I wish I could. But that SSB world has yielded a new high profile relationship that we will be hearing about in the next couple of weeks. Oh, I'll tell you What's about SSB? it. Oh, don't you What's worry. SSB? About it. It's Aiden's uh Okay. It's Aiden's world. A new high profile relationship, huh? Maybe, maybe. Can I know now? No. No, uh, uh, no but off uh like just take the headphones off and just Nah, I'll just tell you after. Why don't you just tell me now? No, nah, I, I have to know. I'll tell you after. Just tell me now. Or I don't want or what? Forever hold your peace? No, tell me now or I'll, I'll uh, do Bash something. Bash my brains in. Yeah, I'll do something. <laughs> Tell it's not, not going to mean anything Tell to you. Tell me now. Why not? Why are you know. putting me in the hot seat? I'm getting hot now. I want to know. I'm sweating. To end it quickly. Just tell me. Ooh. Anyway, so my Valentine's Day was really nice. <laughs> Uh, what? my girlfriend is the best Talk about it later. Who knows? Gift giver. Wow. I know. What'd she buy you, Georgie? Uh, I don't think you guys are ready for this. I'm ready. All right. I'll pull it out. It better oh, not be, it? it better not be a mantis shrimp. Oh my God. A leather messenger bag from Michael Kors. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I got you uh, these, by the way, I oh. didn't just to bribe you not to move, but then you already made up your mind. So <laughs> okay. Um, 
So my girlfriend is the best gift giver ever. Like, like when I mean ever, I mean, I've, I can't beat this bitch at this shit. Like I told her, like, Hey, I didn't want, I don't want any offense. Why like, are you calling her a bitch, man? Cause she's, yeah, what's she's good my bitch that? and I'm her bitch. It's like, we bitches together. Wow. Anyway, so, uh. Why are you dressed like a bank robber? Oh, it's because. <laughs> are you playing GTA? <laughs> she stole your heart. You guys are like coming, becoming nerds, by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. All these Pokemon <laughs> shit and GTA. you fucking in the game. <laughs> like, fuck you guys. We're nerds. Uh, so there, there's the backpack I, I again. He already you guys, brought it up, bringing it up again. I want you guys to uh, refer to me now as Lord. Are Yo, you a Lord? Dog, Did she register? She made me a Lord. You got registered to be a Lord? I am now legally Lord George Janko. No, you, she, no, no, you don't live in the UK. That's not. Uh, nope, because I have property now. She bought me property in <laughs> London. I mean, in England, where I am now officially Lord George Janko. Are you fucking with me? She did it because she's like, yo, like, I just want to let you know, like, you're a good leader and you deserve to be a lord. That's incredible. Did she have to call you that at night? Uh, no, she already did call me that at night. Wow. Uh, but yeah, this is actual shit I take to the bank. Give me someone. this. Give me this. I know what I'm looking at. Lordtitles.com. <laughs> Congratulations. Lord George Janko. What? George. Lord definition, someone or something having power, authority, or influence, a master or ruler. You're a master at everything you do, a true leader and the ruler of my heart. So I made it official, my Lord George Janko. I love you forever. Happy Valentine's Day, Bubba. Oh my God. Well, well, what property do you own? I don't know, but it's like, it's fucking sick. She bought a five foot I'm going to change my credit card to Lord in, George in Janko. So when I swipe, they're like, oh my God, are you a Lord? It's, and I go, it's funny you say that because three days ago, this video came out. <laughs> From a man named KSI who was just made a lord mm. three days ago, George, and actually changed his channel name to Lord KSI. Mm. So where does your ranking lot? Where does your ranking? Oh, no, no, no. It's it's getting. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, you idiot! <laughs> Why is everybody becoming rank? lords? What do you rank the lords? I didn't fucking know. <laughs> I didn't know, but I did. I, I will say this: like six months ago, we're in the car, <laughs> we're driving, and she turns to me, she goes, "Hey." Question for you. Uh, is being called Lord blasphemous? Because you know. Oh, oh, is, it, oh is, it, is it? Is it? And I told her, I was like, no, that just means uh, you're just like a ruler of some type of land. That's why it's called landlord. And it's not blasphemous because God says, I'm the Lord of all lords. So that means that there's a lot to be other lords. So I told her, like, no, respectfully. God's the ultimate landlord. Yes. And I was like, then, so no. And she's like, okay. And I never <laughs> thought about what the fuck. Like, that's how weird our conversations get. That that to me was just like a normal day-to-day -day conversation. That's so great, George. Yeah. That's so great. That's one of the b best things I've ever heard. Yeah, so You're a lord now. Yeah. Lord George Janko. Thank so you. why do you care that he's moving to Puerto Rico if you have... Yeah, you got everything you need. I don't know. You that's why I said last year if you would have asked me when I wasn't a lord. <laughs> but I got land to lord over. And uh, <laughs> yes, it is five feet only. The land that I own is only five feet, but I'm five feet and I've done a lot in life. So True. I think. True. Where is it? Where is it? It's in England. No, yeah, but she, that's a big she, spot. I, where I don't understand. She bought land. To Yeah, you have to own land. What, where's your land, dude? I have fucking no idea. How do you But not? I could visit it. I could go visit it. I have it all here. Well, no, you can't because you don't know where it is. Well, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, and regardless. No, no, I have a map. Let me see the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I might, I might have left that at the house. Oh, that's crazy. Big. Oh, there's a tiny version of it. But let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, what is oh, that? Was it, that the Squire? Like, shy, the Shire? I mean, I, I don't know if I. Who's brought... who drew this? Why was it drawn in the 15th century? Oh, because uh, that's when the Lords started. Look, happening. it's the most waterfall. Hey, they have a lazy river. You should Cheap. come. Well, yeah, yeah, you don't have a lazy river. They do. Uh, this is great. I'd probably rather. This might be a little fugazi. Wait, wait. What do you how mean? Can, how can you just like I don't know, dude? No, bro. This is legal. Yeah, people, it's like when people yeah, buy, stars, buy stars or like yeah. you 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 own a highway essentially. You adopt a highway and shit. <laughs> you know who's a big adopter of highways here? Uh uh No, no, the, what is it? Methamphetamine. <laughs> Do you guys ever see the methamphetamine signs? That's like this highway is owned by methamphetamine. Or is it uh huh? no, no, special K. Uh what's it called? The cereal, the cereal. box? No, not cereal. You can what's what's the drug I'm thinking of? <laughs> ketamine. Ketamine. Cuz you know ketamine's like a, th a thing they're trying no, to I mean kettle. to do here. <laughs> Jake, I'm looking at you cuz I know you know about ketamine. Fuck you. Bro. Right. Ketamine is a cat tranquilizer. But they're looking at it having medicinal purposes. For cats. For depression and, and like PTSD. And Depressed shit. cats. And so ketamine actually owns part of the country. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck all y'all. Fuck you. What'd you get your girlfriend? Uh, I 
<laughs> made it seem like I was like busy yeah. when I was working and cool. stuff. And so <laughs> I, I had everything set up and Simi uh, helped me get everything ready. So when we walk in the house, it all looked great. What's it? What'd you get her? Uh, actually, shockingly enough, we don't talk about what we get each other publicly. Is that is that how you tell us you didn't get her We shit? just like to keep our relationship personal. And Wait, not, but you just like, told I'll tell everyone you off that camera. You, you just told everyone that. Oh, cause I'm a f I'm a lord, bro. You got you got to flex that shit. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna keep that shit to myself, okay. like a hidden gun. George, did you lord. get her you anything? No idea. George, did you get her anything? I did. Yes, I did. Well, I didn't have a Valentine. Oh yeah, it's because you're a loser that collects Pokemon cards right. for fucking video games. <laughs> it's right. It's right. So that's why it, your girlfriend posts a picture on Valentine's Day without you in it, and you don't get a post. So, thanks for watching Impulsive Guys, the last episode we've ever fucking played, and. Uh, Oh my god, oh my the seventy thousand dollar new desk. table. <laughs> oh my <laughs> put my things back. <laughs> Fucker. Nah, yeah, it's tricky. You're right. You're making good points because I started collecting Pokemon cards in a relationship. And now that I'm out of a relationship, you know, like I'll, I'll be escorting a girl around my house. I'll be like, oh, there's like another Pikachu <laughs> stuffed animal. Like, this is my first edition chart. They don't give a fuck. It's weird. I'm weird. I'm a weird person. Shocking. Officially. I get that because it's kind of like being fat. <laughs> What? It's kind of like being fat. What'd like you when say? you're fat in a relationship, they're just like, that's so cute. Like, yeah. even more to cuddle. And yeah. then, like, when you get out of a relationship and you're fat, you're just fat. You're just fat. And stupid. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got no girl. I'm a simple guy. Like, I, I don't really demand much, you know, low maintenance. But, ladies, pay attention. I feel like also this list will work for most men. I'll go ahead and say it. I'm speaking on behalf of the males. The males. Ladies, listen up. <clears throat> hmm. Shorty. You want to win your way to my heart? Super simple. Step one. Back scratches. Scratch his back. Give me those goosebumps when I least expect it. Number two. Cook for me. Make me food. Very simple. Three. Keep that skin soft. Honestly, like keep that lotion going, but don't use too much lotion. I don't want to be grabbing you and it's like a slip and slide. Four. Morning sex. We got to start the day right, woman. We're going to get it. We're going to go to Pound Town. First thing in the morning, and the rest of the day is gonna be great. And lastly, and I think most importantly, the last way to win my heart over is you cannot have had sex with Tyga. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You just You're gonna win, you're gonna win my heart. Wow. With those simple steps. You just eliminated 90% of Hollywood. <laughs> you better go to Puerto Rico. By the way, Tiger's got a crib there too, bitch. No! He got a house in Dorado. You fucking know no! it. You know he does, bro. No. God dang, bro. That was so well worded. Yeah. You're a poet. And I know it. And you know it. Hey, can I ask you something? What? Why did you take the instrumental background from like herpes medications on, online? I noticed that. That sounded like, <laughs> we'll play it back. Let me, really, let me give yeah. you an example. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. <clears throat> it's not embarrassing. <laughs> Four out of five men walking in the grocery store right now have the same itching problem that you do. Before taking Herpidex, ask your doctor. People like Mike Malak, Logan Paul. That's it. Sponsored by All right, cut them off. Blue Chew. <laughs> Wait, hit him, hit him with the side effects. Side effects of <laughs> side effects of herpidex may include headache, unconsciousness, bleeding from the mouth and heart, death, paralysis, the death of everyone you've ever met, the death of everyone in general. You're going to die if you take this medication. Please read the label to find out if herpidex is right for you. And herpes-free outbreak days are in your future <laughs> with herpidex. Did it not sound like that? That was fantastic. Dylan, you should send me soundtracks like that more often. I, we could do so many so things. So many things. Why don't you do that with actual brand deals? Like when you do like the next fucking. Let's Blue do shoot? one. Let's do one for this episode. We're doing commercials for my box break. Think about that. Why do we not run commercials? Yeah. Like self-made. They're only promoting our shit. Hey guys, what's <laughs> up? It's me, Logan Paul. Oh wait, for this episode? No, for my Pokemon box break. Got the it. live stream. <laughs> I just realized I'm holding that. I was like, like I'm about to kill it in the booth right mm. now. I had Valentine's uh, Day yesterday. We did a fully Asian themed Valentine's Day. We went to Koreatown. We had boba tea. We um. Yeah, you made a big deal out of that. I made it to... What, you, <laughs> what, the boba tea? You made a large deal out of it. Out of what? The boba tea. It was good. It was really tasty. Yeah, it's but, got little balls in okay, it. Okay, well, we'll keep it to yourself. We had boba tea. We had bao. Um, bao was great. The bao was really what good. Kind of bao? Is that a restaurant or a, a it's, it's a dish. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's a dish, yeah. It's like little uh, steamed 
rice buns. Mm. I believe it's a, a can, can of teased pork bow. You got pork, yeah, pork, pork, pork belly bow. Pork belly bow. And then and then we went and uh, we got a foot massage. Yo, speaking of uh, speaking of which, I went into this place for a foot massage. I can never just seem to get a foot massage these days. Happy endings come. No. At you. It always turns into a back <laughs> massage. I'm like, dude, I just simply want to get a foot massage, okay? <laughs> and so when they, so when I, when I go in, I ask for a foot massage. They send me the guy. It's always some bulky ass, bald, large, muscular Asian man. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, don't worry, man. He's only touching your feet. It's not super weird. He's just touching your feet. All you gotta mm-hmm. do is sit back in the chair. Sure. When I get in the room, there's no chair. It's a bed. So I already know I'm up. I'm in trouble. Okay. Starts massaging my feet. He's got a fucking strong grip. He's digging into those things, dude. I'm starting to lose consciousness just from the feet. <laughs> then all of a sudden he says, please flip over. I flip over. I thought he was Asian. And he's, I suck at accents. He's a, he's a frog. He's a- <laughs> hey, please move over. Please, yeah. please flip over. <laughs> please flip over. I knew I was in trouble because this man did not use his hands on my back. He only used the sharpest <laughs> elbows I have ever felt in my entire life and couldn't put together an English sentence long enough to ask me, are you in pain right now? Here's how I knew I was fucked. I found myself whispering to myself, pain is a social construct. Pain is a social <laughs> construct. Over and over again, because I, because as a man, I could not admit to him that he was hurting yeah. me. He was putting every ounce <laughs> of might into his elbow, into my back, right in yeah. this region that really <laughs> hurts when someone does that. Yeah. And he was like, how's the pressure? And I was like, I, it's fine. <laughs> and he just kept fucking digging, bro. I went to war with a small Asian man. Do you know, I, do you know why he did that to you? <laughs> why? Because in the back of his mind, quietly was like, if you're going to make me touch your feet, huh, you fucker? He's like, you're not going to tell me a about huge tip. Bro, your feet oh. scare me oh, yeah. when they're in socks. <laughs> and then when you take them out, in my mind, I go, how many <laughs> chairs, couches, and tables has that foot hurt? You break everything that's a, in your way. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call lot. them toes. At the, I call them tentacles. They, they like fold like this. They're over. They're over. Ugh. Oh my God. What's happening over here? What is that white spot? I over saw there? that. It's that was just like a mark. Well, it's yeah, it's, it's not going away, it's Mike. It's a callus, but it's it's also got a mark there as well. That's it's like white. That's how that's how big Puerto Rico is. My Show us where you're gonna live. Are my feet dirty right now, Caleb? No, right? They're not overly dirty, are they? I need everybody to look at his feet and realize he just said, is this "Hey, a, that's not that dirty." A sixth toe coming out. Like what? Like it's when is this gonna be game, fully bro. developed? Like guys, listen. What do you want me to fucking say to you? You like my butt crack, did you say? D- Danny, you can't what? Say that. You can't say D- that. D-, 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 D. No D. No D. No D. No D. No D. Trump got acquitted. What does that mean? For the second oh, oh yeah, Ar- for the second time, he's two and oh on impeachment. The guy's undefeated. Camp, <sighs> he's like R. Kelly. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, he's never what? gonna get he's never gonna be out of office. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He's already gone. <laughs> um yeah, bro. They're doing that so he bro. can't reel. Yeah, he can't yeah. rerun, and they they strip him of his uh, his rights of uh, secret service and all that, and the jet and all that. Wait, shit. they're trying to take his secret well, service all, if, away. If you get impeached, it all goes away. Whoa. They take it away from you. But uh, that's dangerous. Evidently, it was a pretty bipartisan. I, I haven't really studied it much, and the reason I'm bringing this up is I haven't studied it much it, it, as much because as soon as Biden became president. I forgot that we even had a president. You don't hear anything. Weird, anymore. right? Weird. It's, and 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 for all the Trumpsters and all the uh, conservatives watching this, it definitely is because of the media, in part mm. because the media just stopped making a big deal of it because they had this, uh, they were on this rampage against Trump. But also, the president of the United States is not tweeting out absolutely fucking insane yeah. messages on his Twitter. And so, as of right now, like, is I he feel doing things though? He probably golfing. No. Oh Biden? Biden? Oh Biden? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't even know if he if he was supposed to do anything. <laughs> I think he just that we just need a new president. I think he just went back to doing what other presidents did was just hanging out. He'll probably shake people's hands and shit. Kiss some babies. Kiss babies. Well, he, we know. Oh yeah, he, he went through a little sniffing phase. He sniffing, was sniffing yeah. all these all the years. Yeah. But honestly, I, to, to be completely honest, I love the idea of having conversations with people and the president and their current like outlook on things doesn't come up. Like, when's the yeah. last time you had oh, an yeah. argument with someone? Oh, oh. 
in Miami. This is how I knew. With that girl. With that girl. The one who, was, oh, yeah, who I called me. you and yeah, told yeah, you yeah. about. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Is that the I, same girl that you were talking about in the beginning of the story? No. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, damn. I couldn't, I couldn't. This is how I knew. I was like, I don't belong here. I couldn't believe. Oh, you told me what she said. Yeah. Are you going to say what she said? I'll say it. <gasps> I'll say it. Fuck oh, it. I didn't yeah, say it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I don't know if you should, bro. And, no, I should. I'm going to because I, 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 I felt a fucking fire ignite in me and I immediately got turned off. Turned off is an understand. Uh, un, like, no, it's like, yo, get the fuck out of my hotel room. It was her and her friend. And, uh, I could tell they were on like a bit of a QAnon wave. I'll go oh, ahead and say. How did you tell? Uh, were they wearing they, no, they, no, they were talking about conspiracy. <laughs> like, what's the, like, what's the, what's the telltale sign that someone's a QAnonist? You know what I'm saying? Like, were they wearing a, a shirt that said Hillary Clinton eats flesh? <laughs> no. Like, what's the telltale cause, sign? Because she would say, like, I was very, uh, not buying into that shit, you know, like anyone with a fucking uh, brain. Yeah, yeah, bro. But they weren't. They, they, she'd say it like this. Yeah, but like I heard about this one, and <laughs> she'd say it, and I know she was. I know she believed it, and I have to sit there. I'm like, yo, I explain it to her like why this is not true. Like these facts that you think are facts actually aren't. Where are are you getting your information? You're young. Are you on Facebook? Where uh, are are you on QAnon? And they were just super. Um, I don't know. It was, I hadn't had a conversation like this in a while. I'm sitting there and the girl goes, uh, hurts me to say it. She goes, uh, oh, I don't even want to be in frame. She said, uh, she said George Floyd was a fucking setup, dude. She said George Floyd was a setup. I That's said, what she I, said. I said, I said, what the fuck did you just say? Because that is a bold ass fucked. claim. Fucked. And I need you to make some serious, in a serious hurry, points right now. Why you just said that before I kick you out of my room. And uh, I think she felt she felt how much that bothered me, um, which is odd because I don't, you guys know me. I don't really get fired up. I'm like, uh, I'm so a, there was that one time. Well, you bought him a fucking shrimp. Just watch your mouth, no, Blanche. I was, I, 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 I'm typically a level headed guy. <laughs> Stick to one insult. <laughs> God. In, in issues of uh, <laughs> racial inequality and injustice in America, I, I get fucking fired yeah, up. For and, sure. so, and so I, I, I pressed her hard, obviously. Uh, and, no, no good actual reasons. She just was like saying some things about his past and 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 who he was as a person, and the crimes that he and what he was on, or he was he was uh, uh, inebriated or something. And I said, and I obviously had explained to her like, hey, none of that fucking matters. matters. Also, that none matter. of that justifies your original point in saying that George Floyd was a setup. You fucking dumbass. Yeah. So unless you're going to justify that point, we can talk about who George Floyd was all day. But unfortunately, that doesn't make the cop to judge, jury, and executioner. Um, and and that's how I think I knew uh, Miami. Well, the place for me. I arrived and there was a Trump rally going on. I said, people still talking about this guy? <laughs> fucking honking horns down <laughs> it's the It's already over. Out. It's done. Give it up. Wait, wait. Give it up. Wait. So wait, wait. But let me ask you this question. See, but you don't fuck with the hope because, yo... You show me a crazy chick and I'm in Miami in a hotel room. Like that might be, that might be an even bigger green light. Like I'm like, yo, you believe in QAnon? You think that our president might be a reptile? Like I was, I was on this here. dick. I was bro, <laughs> bro, do you know what a QAnon bitch can do in the bedroom? Are you fucking kidding? Your dick will catch on fire. That girl will fuck so hard, bro. Trying to save the world from Comet Pizza, Ping Pong Pizza, whatever the fuck it was. John Legend loves fucking flesh. John Legend loves fucking flesh. Like, bro, can you imagine, yeah, freaks, bro? Huh? Just freaking. But there was two of them. It was too much for me. And yeah, then, you almost and got then killed. They said, then they said, so, I'm here for the fun. Like, I, I, I'm fascinated that you're entertained and believe these things. Like, I'm here for the... But when you... When you make a uh, a statement as bold as that, yeah, you're yeah. gonna be met with these hands. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And that was the first fight I won this no, year. But, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but this. No, but that wasn't the only fight that you almost got in in Miami. Because we were at a super with a girl, by the way. Because we were at a super. Whoa! We were at a Super Bowl party. <laughs> We went to we went to two uh, like a Super Bowl fucking gathering. Why are you all right, with ten so many or girls? less no socially distanced people with masks. All right, cut the fucking shit, assholes. We were at we were first we we're at Andrew Soul's house and we watched a little bit of the Super Bowl there, very socially distanced with masks. Watch the first half. So we go to the second party. This party's got is more of like a club scene, like not as Andrew Schultz esque, less less like wives and like dogs and like pizzas and more just like. Pro cocaine and like Bitcoin uh, holders and yeah. prostitutes. 
So I'm about to leave the party. It's like, or the event, the gathering, the small soiree with my girlfriend because it's 1030, which is three hours past her bedtime. <laughs> and she, and I'm sitting there and I see Logan engaged in a conversation with what can only be described as a large Amazonian woman. Mm -hmm. She's seven and a half feet tall, mm -hmm. towering over him. Mm -hmm. And she's fired up, not over any specific thing. She's just happy to be alive. She's happy to be there. She did a bunch of fucking Molly and she's in Logan's that face. It. That wasn't it. What was it? Uh, everything. Every drug. You could tell. So she's in his face and she's doing this. And so whenever I see that guy, girl in his face, my fucking, my dude right here, I'm activating. So I go up to her and I go, yo, I have to ask you politely to get out of my friend's face. She turned to me and she goes, I am a fucking local bitch. Shut <laughs> your mouth. And she was tall. So when I said she said it like this down to me, <laughs> she did. And you know what I said back to her? If you say one more word to me, I'm going to have my girlfriend beat your fucking ass. <laughs> and I put Amara in front of me. And I backed up like this. It got heated when she chest bumped me. That she was that was a, she broke. grabbed my hand and pulled me in like a like a football bro and went boom. I flew back 20, 20 30, 30 feet. feet, bro. <laughs> Literally. I've never seen anything like this. This girl was have you ever seen I thought it was Rob Gronkowski for a split second. I thought it was. It was Rhonda Gronkowski. She goes, I'm not even kidding. She goes, she goes, we're sitting there, we're talking, standing there. I was laying down because she just belly flopped me. And uh, she goes, <laughs> she goes, ha, 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 you remind me of me. And I said, hey, I hope not. <laughs> but then, and then Mike came and saved the day with his girl. No, I actually didn't. I didn't say that. I said, uh, I got like kind of hood and I was like, yo, if you, if you say one more thing, like I'm going to have my girl, yeah, got, I'm going to have my girl dice you up. Why don't and, you just tell her like, yo, I just shot a bitch and killed her. No, myself. I don't want to say that. But then I'm Amra, because <laughs> the thing is like Amra, as we all know, is actually about it. Like she stepped up and all of a sudden now I'm involved in an actual situation. So they all walk over into the corner and that girl, the Amazonian girl has three equally Amazonian friends mm. and it's just them three with them with Amra. It all worked out. Everything was fine. Logan went his way and probably went back to the house and ate some fucking micro greens and went Pizza. to sleep. Pizza. Went Pizza. You fell off your diet a little bit, huh, fat boy? I, I saw you eating a cheeseburger at fucking Burger Fi with Food God. Oh, yeah. I realized it, uh, it doesn't matter. My metabolism is crazy. High as fuck. Crazy, bro. I, I, eat, I eat hordes of food. Super Bowl was good. Had some prop bets on the Barstool Sports Book. Uh, I, I, I put it on there that bet with Logan Paul said Gronk was going to score 69 yards and one touchdown. You know, because he was on our podcast, and typically athletes who come on our podcast is good luck. <laughs> He, he won the Super Bowl. He got two touchdowns and he got 67 yards. So he was two yards short, essentially, of this prop bet hitting. I think it was plus, it was boosted, right? It's plus 690. So bet 100, what, you win 690? Yeah. It was boosted big time, but he was two yards short. But since it was my first prop bet, Barstool Sportsbook put it through. Shout out Penn for making that happen, which was awesome. And then a second one, a second prop bet, bet with Logan Paul, was uh, LeBron to score 25 in the Lakers win. I wake up the next morning. LeBron scored exactly 25, and the Lakers won by one in OT. And then I put another one for Kamaru Usman. And you, who, uh, and you got that one, too. Uh-uh. He, 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 he uh, TKO'd Gilbert Burns, I believe, in the third. A third. Uh, Kamaru, oh, Kamaru Usman, I, I said it when he started that fight. I don't I don't know if he can be beat. He's one of those fighters. I Betting against him was the worst mistake of my life. That guy is a fucking animal. He's we didn't those, know at the time. We didn't know. We didn't know because he he was he had made a name for himself, and now he's got uh, he's up there for uh, the longest win streak in the UFC with the best guys. Thirteen win streak, thirteen he's wins so, in a in a row. So good. Him, Izzy. There's a few people. Khabib. I just don't think we'll be beat ever. He's just he's just too solid. He can take hits. Can dish him. Hundred percent takedown defense. Clay Guida. Does anyone remember him? Yeah. Do you remember him? No. Okay. Back in the day, Clay Guida, long hair, MMA fighter. I remember watching him fight the other week, and that uh, dude's 39 years old and just is a dog. Fights like a like he's a street fighter, but obviously has the skills of a, a, a talented MMA fighter. And uh, it was really cool to see, I don't know, someone who I grew up watching in Clay Guida, long hair, just fighting like a beast, uh, win and dominate in the, in the way that he did. It was cool. It was cool. It gives me inspiration, man. This shit doesn't stop if you just keep going. Especially if you love it. He was fired up during his uh, post-fight win speech. Those are my favorites. Post-fight win speech. You'll have one of those one time. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Floyd fight was supposed to be happening in five days. February 20th is supposed to be happening. Do you have any uh, any uh, info on the redeployment? Talking to uh, talking to the big boss man. Oh the yeah, Don we're going today. in right after this. Yeah, he's yeah he's sitting over with there. a new with a new partner potentially that I brought to the table. Strange strange guy. Um, thanks for watching Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next week. Bye.